Now we've just tested the oxygen level of this aquarium and it appears to be sort of six, maybe even eight, maybe six, which is an acceptable level. But one thing I've learned is that looking at an aquarium is really not sufficient for assuming its oxygen level. So I'm doing the oxygen test with a JBL test kit and it really is just a moment in time. So you could test it again tomorrow and due to varying factors, the oxygen level may have increased or decreased. Now, if you're, you can never have too much oxygen, but if your aquarium is in a room that's rarely opened up, then it's likely that you're gonna run a lower oxygen level. And in summertime, you tend to have the windows open more, but that's not always true because a lot of people have very good air conditioning these days and then the oxygen level can change again. So when you test the oxygen, it really is just a point in time. But the reason why I wanted to look at the oxygen level for this aquarium is that the pH is sitting a little bit lower than I wish it to be. But once again, we are getting coralline growth, so I'm actually not worried about the figures because I don't get tied up worrying about figures if I can see results. And then we're also finding that there's a lot of KH going in. So improving the oxygen and the way that we could improve the oxygen, it's already got a CO2 scrubber on it, which is the first thing I'd go to. And that did see an impact. We did find that everything seemed to be better. The pH seemed to improve. So there was a absolute impact by adding the CO2 reactor, but you can't have too much oxygen so what would be a good little experiment, if you can, is sort of open up the windows and try a few weeks with the windows open and more oxygen. In a perfect world, we could actually drill through to outside and run an air pump or um, a skimmer inlet or whatever and actually drag oxygen in from outside. Um, but before we thought about any extreme solutions like that, we might just want to try and have windows or doors open for the next month. And then if we found that we were using less KH, then maybe oxygen was contributing to why the pH was a bit lower and why the KH was a bit lower. On the other hand, if we didn't see any results and we've kept the windows open a lot more when you're out, the windows open and so forth, then it might just be your expectations versus results. So this tank has been going through a growth phase. It's a relatively new tank and the Coraline's really just kicking in. And sometimes it's nothing short of shocking how much KH you go through when the tank's in a growth phase. And when the tank's in a growth phase, you just seem to be pouring and pouring the KH in. But then if you actually look at the whole surface area of that tank and all these corals that can use that carbonate, and then you look at those liters of KH you're putting in there, if you actually look at how small the solid component is within that dissolved liquid, and then you remember that not all of it is gonna be used by the aquarium. Some of it may end up in other places, um, precipitated or whatever, and then spread that out across this surface area, all of a sudden those liters that you're putting in really may not be as much because when you break that liquid down into the actual solid component and then you imagine using that solid to grow coralline and to grow your corals and so forth, the actual physical breakdown of the liquid may actually be not as much as you think. So results are the most important thing and then managing expectations is the next thing. So just because you think that you shouldn't put as much in, and maybe you've read online, a couple of other people that they haven't put as much in, it also can be the different phase of the aquarium. When it's in a growth phase, you really might be going through a lot more. When the, all the surface area is covered and your tank's very stable and mature, then you may find that the levels you're adding fluctuate. Anyway, if you've got any
comments on this particular subject, then make sure you put a little note on the bottom of this video.